to Johannesburg where we will meet my mom. I'm excited, I'm excited, I'm excited. But I'm here now scrolling through the TV to see what I'm about to watch. And I didn't watch the latest episode of Keeping Up. So, guess what I'm about to, if this will even open. Look over here now. And then you give them a I'm about to. Okay, <laughs> oh no, I don't want closed captions. I want to watch it. Oh, this is season one. Hold up. I want season two. Damn, they don't have season two on here. Oh, I just got played. What are you watching, Anja? Look, I'm going to be busy. Harry Potter. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight Harry Potter movies. Oh! <laughs> yeah. Oh, hocus pocus. But Aja, how are you feeling so far? Your first, your first endeavor. Um, I'm feeling excited and uh, thankful and I want to get this 15 hour flight over with <laughs> yes 15 hours guys so they are beginning to dim the lights I'm gonna say good night it is currently 1 30 I think 1 40 at this 1 46 a.m. Um, where we are headed it is currently we are in Atlanta currently and it is 7 46 right now so I'm gonna sign out, kind of get a little quiet, settle in and snuggle in, um, and just kick it. I'm a, I'll see y'all. I'll see y'all.
may have been $18. Look, the Mentos factory hair bow. I love those gummy bears. I thought they were only made in Germany though. Okay, let's keep going. Choice of serving. Rice, mash, pan fried potatoes. Oh, let's try pan fried potatoes. Yeah, I want to try. This journey is about trying new things. official day here in South Africa. Um, I'm currently at my mom's house. Ah! We're so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited and so happy to be here. Um, yeah, um, I don't really have much to say. Not very much is going on right now. We have a flight to catch in a few hours um so i'm just up right now i'm actually up for quite early it is currently 8 50 a.m i think our flight isn't until two we don't have to leave here until like we said we were gonna leave the house early to get to the airport so we can have, sit and have a nice meal at the airport um so that's really what's on the agenda for today right now we are going to cape town so we're going to Cape Town for the weekend. So excited about that. Cape Town is one of, there we go, that works out. Ooh, that ankle, let's put you up a little bit higher. Cape Town is one of my, there we go, perfect. Cape Town is one of my favorite cities in the entire world that I've traveled to. And I've traveled to quite a few cities. Um, around the world and it so far is one of my favorites it is a city that I hold near and dear to my heart personally um, my first not my first time my only time ever going to Cape Town it was during a time when I was in, in the midst of a lot of transition a lot of change a lot of self-discovery um, and I was depressed and I was very sad and I was very low like I was in a very very emotionally low anxious state and while while I was in Cape Town it was something about like flying in and seeing the city the bird's eye view of the cityscape granted you fly in and out of cities out of, in and out of countries all the time you're seeing a bunch of cityscapes but it was something about this particular cityscape that I saw in the water driving along the coastline that like I truly felt for once in a very long time I felt that peace I felt happy, I felt safe, I felt a sense of clarity that I had not had in a very, very long time. And like, the best way I can clearly articulate it for someone else to be able to understand is that I felt like, prior to entering into the city, I felt like a big old dark black, not even gray, but a black cloud over me. And as I was landing, I felt my cloud turning gray, and I was always driving around the town and that along the coastline. I felt like I was like those bright, happy, fluffy, cotton ball, cotton candy clouds that have had engulfed me. And it was a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful feeling at that moment. And I'm just happy to be going back to that place that made me feel that way. Um, quite frankly, and that's just that won't purr. Um, but yeah, I'm up now deciding to get dressed and get ready. Like I said, we don't have to be out of here until 10 and I plan on not getting ready until like, um, maybe or like nine o'clock really um so that's that but i just wanted to come on here and check in with you guys say hey what it do we have made it and so far jet lag is not kicking my butt but this is only day one so we shall see okay um i pretty much slept on the entire flight which actually somewhat worked in my favor because I hadn't really slept that much the day before and like leading up to it I was just not getting adequate sleep um, which is not okay but my state of exhaustion I was in might have actually might be working in my favor when it comes to dealing with jet lag um, because I slept for the most part on the entire flight here which was 15 hours and then when I got in last night, I was a little sleepy. Um, I ended up falling asleep 
getting in bed at around like 12, maybe ish o'clock. Mind you, we did get it, get to my mom's house a bit later in the evening, and we had to unpack, and then I also packed, I unpacked, and then I packed for our trip to Cape Town. Um, so, yeah, put me in bed kind of late. But I slept through the entire night. I didn't wake up until, I think I woke up at 6 a.m. And then I went back to bed, and then my mom had a contractor come to the house at like, not, or no, at like 7.30. So I've kind of been up since then. Um, I had just a quick little bite, literally leftovers from last. I had mashed potatoes so far for breakfast. You put a bra on. Um, I had mashed potatoes for breakfast so far, and I need to eat a proper meal because I am hungry. Okay, hungry ain't the word, but I'm hungry. Um, so yeah, I'm debating whether I want to put makeup on right now or not. I'm not quite sure, but I need to do something with my hair. But I also don't really want to because I'm about to hop on a flight, and I kind of want to just deal with my hair once I get to our destination. I just want to refresh my curls and just make it What I do? Do 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 Hello. I'm just saying I can be that you call and you talk to the little girl I'll share my world with you You're gonna waste your time yeah. You're gonna waste your time with me I mean honestly Open your eyes and see If you're gonna you just give me what you need Don't waste your time with me You could have all editing Naomi so as I'm going through and editing these clips I realized that some of the video is a bit choppy mainly because I was more focused on living my life than recording but as you guys see in the next couple clips we've been picked up from the airport and we are now headed to the hotel but along the way um, I mentioned that I really wanted to stop in the Malay area to see the street of colorful houses and our driver slash tour guide um, ended up maneuvering and adding a little bit of extra time to our trip so that we could stop by the houses, which I was ever, ever grateful for because there was some type of marathon going on which caused like excessive traffic. And the way in which we had to go to get to the houses would have put us in the midst of that traffic. But he was able to maneuver us through the city to avoid it to get to the houses. Yeah, you can't see the top of it, but it's still a pretty view. So that's what we call the the blanket. Oh wow, the cloud. Yeah. I'm gonna just. Swing through the Malay area quickly. Oh, okay. oh okay. thank you. Yeah, thank you. No problem. If there's traffic, it's okay. It's okay. Just be easy. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> but to the left, that's the company's gardens, which is it's a nice gardens. Actually, you can walk right through. The yeah. crypt, jazz restaurant. Oh. Wow. I don't think they opened up again, sadly. Yeah. Uh, they used to be I... the only one of the only places we get live reopen. jazz. I don't think so. So yeah. Todd. Uh, it was something with a whale. Wallabies. I, it uh, might have been that. <laughs> what I think it this must name? have been wallabies. Oh wow. Yeah. But and if you so show me the picture I might be able to um Hey guys, it's editing Naomi again. So, when we got to the hotel, they royally screwed up our reservation. We were supposed to have a room with two queen beds and prepped for f three people to stay in the room. But when we actually ended up getting, eventually getting to our room, this is what we got, where it was clearly set up for a newlywed couple. And I thought it was absolutely hilarious. Of course, by this time, my mom was like just really upset and just let down by the lack of customer service, one, lack of accountability, two, and just the overall experience in checking in. 
never have sh has she and or we ever had that type of just bad experience but maybe me being the jokester that i am i tried to turn it around and let's just go have some fun now I don't believe I've talked to you quite yet, but we have made it to Cape Town. And if you see just behind me, right up there is Table Mountain where all those clouds are. Hopefully we will get a second opportunity for me to, um, to come back. Uh, what am I trying to say? Hopefully I'll have a second opportunity to view the views at the top of Table Mountain. But we are here now at the waterfront, about to go to one of our favorite restaurants here to get a bite to eat for dinner. She said, baby, I'm afraid to fall in love. So what if this time is reciprocated? I told her don't crash, girl, don't you rush. It's all a game of pictures She said, what if I die deep? Will you come in after me? Would you share your flowers with me? Well, may I have hand towels? Four? I have never, ever in my entire life stayed in a Marriott brand hotel that doesn't offer a washcloth. And now you're telling me I have to purchase it? I'm just so, so disappointed. I'm so disappointed in the quality and service that I've received in this hotel. And I've only been here, I've been here for less than 24 hours. I'm just so very sorry. I would like four hand towels, please. Thank you. And let them know that I'm a Titanium member. Thank you. This is ridiculous. That's it. They want us to buy a washcloth. What kind of delusional world did, are we did living in? Did two people say that or just one? Two people. people. Oh, wow. Well, because, you know, somebody might be trying to get over, but if two people say it, then that's really, really interesting. 20 rand is like a dollar? But what the fuck? Why do you have to pay for a washcloth? So you telling me I gotta pay to wash my ass? You should have said that. <laughs> I can't wait to grow the person who bring them up. <laughs> no, no, that's not them. That's they're they're just trying to do their job by bringing them up. It's the front desk. 